morning children welcome to the class of science today we are going to see our next part of chapter number 1 that is crop production and management let us start with the first step that is preparation of soil which is also called as plowing or tilling which is also called as plowing or tilling so what is plowing and tilling plowing and tilling are the steps which are included in preparation of soil that is preparation of land a farmer first of all plows his land with the help of plow this helps when a plowing process is done we are actually turning out the soil we are digging out the soil that is we are taking out the bottom soil on the upper part of the soil and the upper part upper layer of the soil is mixed with the downer layer in this way there is turning of soil from upside down and downside up so this is the first step then we can say that <clears throat> the big big lumps which are formed during this plowing are flattened with the help of a wooden plank that are broken down into smaller smaller soil lumps now why is plowing tilling helpful for uh, for the crops and for other microorganisms that are living in the soil the very first point that plants can easily penetrate their roots deep into the soil by the process of tilling or plowing that is the soil becomes loose and as it is become loose the uh, plants can deeply penetrate their roots deep into the soil then certain microorganisms like earthworms and certain decomposers they grow in the soil so when the soil is loosened these microorganisms they absorb air there is passage of air transfer of air takes place and, and these organisms they grow nicely in the soil these organisms are helpful their presence have a great important because these organisms they decompose the organic matter whatever is present in the soil and convert it into an compost or manure so these organisms are important you have learned the concept of vermicompost in our in your previous class that is in 7th standard and 6th standard so in this way some organisms they start to live happily when the soil is loosened the big big lumps are broken down with the help of a wooden plank so children there is one more beneficial use of this that is i have already spoken that is we are turning the soil upside down the deficient layer the top layer is deficient in nutrients so that is replenished by the bottom layer which is rich in nutrients so upside down of the soil makes the plant availability of lots of nutrients and as a result these plants absorb the nutrients from the upper layer and they grow up nicely so this are all the positive points of plowing or tilling the loosening of soil and turning of the soil is called as plowing and tilling our next part we are going to see is of an agricultural implement which is used since ancient time that is a plow plow consists of a plow shaft and a plow share a plow shaft is usually uh, used to hold and plow share is used to dig up plow share is made up of metal and plow shaft is made up of wood one of the other equipment which is used uh, while preparation of land is the hoe h o e hoe this hoe is of metal body it consists of a handle grip a scraper blade which is used for digging and 
a beam. So this is another advanced equipment which is used in agriculture for the sake of preparation of soil. So nowadays we are using the other that is the cultivator which is driven by a tractor. So in the picture itself you can see that the by the use of this cultivator there is ease in preparation of soil that is in cropping, uh, in cultivation of crops or preparation of land. This instrument has made easy for the ease for the farmers. So uh, children you can see in the picture that tractor is pulling out this cultivator and it is actually digging the soil and uh, he is plowing the whole land. This saves out the energy of the farmer, it saves the time of the farmer. This was all about preparation of land. We will move to our next concept that is sowing. Now for sowing purpose, some sound seeds are selected. First of all, you will see that we have performed an activity in the slide itself. We can see it that is some seeds are taken and they are poured in water. The seeds which floats on the water are bad seeds. They are weak seeds. They should never be taken for sowing purpose. The seeds which will settle at the bottom, these seeds are actually taken for the sowing purpose. Okay, so these seeds are then taken and sown in the farm. Now what instruments? In the next slide you will see that there is an instrument which is used in ancient time that is a funnel like shape and it has the rods which are rooted in the ground and from the top the seeds are uh, poured up into the funnel like shape and they reaches the ground. Uh, first it, it digs out by applying pressure on it the farmers you can see that they are applying pressure one farmer is applying pressure the other is handling the animal okay so in this way the seeds are then uh, poured and then the rod through the rod they are carried to the ground once it is digged it is uh, it reaches the ground and the farmer it with the help of his legs he just makes the land play in this way the sowing is done nowadays in the other slide you can see that we are having a seed drill machine which is also driven by a tractor so these are the advanced machineries which are used for plowing sowing even for harvesting and which makes the work of farmer easy so i hope children you have have you have understood the concept of I have understood the basic concepts that is preparation of soil and sowing selection of seeds we have all learnt in our today's session different equipments we have seen so in the latter part of the session we will be continuing with the next steps so for the time being take care students bye bye stay home stay safe